Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Demon Seed right here on YouTube. Hey, uh, welcome to my new studio. And uh, today we're going to quickly go over the NASA Assistant software and how to engage the IOC switch on your radio. You can assign the left hand switch so that the IOC is turned on and you have home lock and course lock. On the right hand GPS switch, we're going to engage manual mode to the third position. In the NASA Assistant software, you can designate that third position switch as either manual mode or fail safe return to home mode. We're going to set ours up in manual mode because if I ever have a flyaway condition, I want to be able to switch to the manual mode, regain control of the aircraft, and then switch back to GPS. You're going to notice when you visit my studio in the future that there's always going to be a painting hanging on the wall. This painting is going to change periodically. I paint them all myself. It's just another one of my obsessions as a full-time artist. I also do paintings and I create large-scale public art and uh, different things just depending on my mood. So if you see a painting on my wall, you can uh, shoot me an email and I'll let you know how much it is and how to PayPal it. So this one is called Planet X. Make sure you grab your Phantom 2 user manual because it goes over all of the assistant software information. So flip that over to page 68 and it has a complete overview of everything you need to know. You're also going to need the USB cable that came with your Phantom. If you haven't done it already, the first thing you want to do is download the DJI NASA Assistant software. Go to DJI.com and once you get to DJI.com, you want to click on support in the tab. Scroll down and find the Phantom model that you own. In my case, we're going to the Phantom 2 Vision Plus and then click on downloads. Once you get to downloads, just scroll down again. The first thing you'll see is the user manuals that you can download. And then after that, we have the software and drivers. Notice over on the left, we have the Windows versions on the left. And now DJI also offers the Mac versions or Apple. And then we have the Phantom 2 Vision Assistant software to download as a disk image. And we also have the Phantom RC Assistant software, which is a download for your radio controller. There's a couple of things you want to do before you fire up the assistant software. The first thing you want to do is remove all of your props. Take your props off every time you run the assistant software. The last thing you want to do is have your Phantom launch across your living room when you're on your computer. So take the black props, put the wrench on the little sprocket and give them a clockwise spin and they will come off and all of your silver props, they turn in a counterclockwise to get them off. The next step is to remove the safety cover or the shroud that protects your camera. You always want to make sure you remove this shroud before you power up your Phantom or your Phantom is going to be fighting against this shroud and potentially damage your gimbal. So remove that shroud very carefully so you don't damage the ribbon cable that's in the back. Remove that. You'll notice we have the remove before flight pennant on ours. These are embroidered cloth and we now have those available so just shoot me an email I'll set you up with one of those. Okay it's time to power up the Phantom and the radio. First thing we do is turn on the radio, wait for it to go constant green, then put your Phantom battery in, give it one click, and then hold it for two seconds. Phantom powers up and you notice we've got about 75% power here. Turn your Phantom around and you've got your USB uh, plug in the back of your Phantom. Take your USB connector and plug it into your Phantom. And that way, all right. 
Then take your USB cable and plug it in to your PC or your Mac and fire up the Phantom NASA software. You'll notice that over here on the bottom left hand side we have the channel monitor. If you take your sticks and move your sticks back and forth, you'll see them respond on the screen. It lets you know that you're connected. If these aren't dead center, you may have to do an advanced calibration, but we'll talk about that on another edition of Demon Seed. So on the main page, when you first start it up, you'll see six tabs across the top. We have the first one, which is View, which gives you an overview of everything. The next one is Basic, which gives you the Command Sticks calibration, so you can calibrate your sticks by just clicking the Start button. Down here we have the Control Mode switch, which allows you to change the last setting on your GPS switch to either Manual or Failsafe. The next tab is Advanced, which allows you to either select Land in Place wherever it's at, or Go Home and Land. The next tab is Tools, and it has Gyroscope, Acceleration, and Compass. You have Basic Compass Calibration and Advanced Compass Calibration in there. The next tab is Upgrade. You notice that I've got all of the upgrades and it says no updates are necessary. And then the last tab is Info. And here's where you can switch users and look at the current version of the software that's out there. There's also a newsletter here that you can click on to get a DJI newsletter. Up here in the top right hand corner, when you first fire it up, this is going to say Phantom. If you switch that to NASA M, it'll allow you to go into the advanced mode. It'll allow you to activate the IOC switch, which is your left hand switch, and it'll allow you to enter the manual mode on your right hand switch. So I switched mine to NASA M. It'll warn you that if you're a novice, do not do this. So unless you're ready and you're a pretty proficient pilot, you're best le leaving it in the phantom mode. Once you switch into the NASA M mode, you can switch back later if you want to. But once you switch into NASA M, you're going to be able to uh, set up your right hand switch so that you can go from manual mode or into the failsafe mode on that right hand switch. I'll show you that here. Switch over to the basic tab and in the basic tab down across the bottom we have the control mode switch. If you switch your GPS switch you'll notice that it changes from GPS to ATTI and then if you're not set up in the NASA M mode that will go to ATTI again. Once you set it up in the NASA M mode, you can now change this from either failsafe or manual and designate that third position on the switch to either failsafe or manual. I'm going to select manual mode because I want my Phantom to go into the manual mode when I switch to that third position. After you're done with that, then go over to the advanced tab. In the advanced tab, you have the FS, the IOC, the battery, and limits. Switch to IOC, and in the top left hand corner, it says intelligent orientation control. Check that box. Once you check that box, now when you switch your left hand switch from off to the second position, you'll be in course lock, and the third position, you'll now be in home lock. Okay, that's it. We've got it all set up here. I now have my Phantom Vision Plus set up in the manual mode on my right hand third position switch. So if I ever do get a potential flyaway condition, I'm not sure how many people actually do or if they're not just pilot dumb thumbs, stupidity, maybe, I don't know. But if you do have a flyaway, you could always switch into manual mode, regain control of your aircraft, and then switch back into GPS. So that's my failsafe method. So uh, now that you're all done with this, you can uh, power down your Phantom, unplug your USB cable, shut off your radio, 
turn off your uh, Phantom NASA Assistant software and you're good to go. Make sure you calibrate your Phantom after you've uh, run the Assistant software to make sure your compass calibration is correct. So do the compass dance and you're all set, ready to fly. And that's gonna do it for another edition of Demon Seed here on YouTube, gang. Hope you got a few tips and tricks and some information out of it. If you did, leave a comment and uh, I get back with everybody. And please subscribe and you'll get all of my future Phantom tutorial videos and a few comedies and little RC documentaries here and there. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again next time.